Ain't that a bitch? Tony can't even make the cover art. What's up, everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're an indie artist looking for an album review and some promo, you can hit up Luke at redmattersite.com. And what I have for you boys and girls today is an indie track review, and it's for effective song called Word Ripper featuring Tony Nandez. Now these are two artists from out of Palmdale, and this song is actually the third single off of Effective's album, Look What I've Become. So to find out more about these two and to check out all their music and their links, you already know what to do, man. Just check that information box that is underneath this video. Now with this one, you're going to get some nice sample-based production, and I thought the beat on this was actually pretty dope. It's nice and simple, and it really gives you that classic hip-hop feel. And it matches up perfectly with what they're doing on this one, because they're not telling any stories or coming with any deep content. They're just coming with those straight-up bars, some of that punch-you-in-the-mouth rap. Now Tony Nandez kicks it off, and he shows off some pretty nice flows, and he boasts that he fucked the game and then came all over that bitch's round rack, so I guess he's treating the rap game like some X videos or Pornhub type of shit. But then Effective comes in with his verse, and I think he's a little bit more polished as an MC. He has some nice flows as well, but he just had some lines that stuck out a little bit more. Like when he spit that he's feeling notorious, but he's trying to get bigger, he catches bodies like a safety net, and my personal favorite line, when he says that he's trying to make it so there's no future for you young thugs. Or in other words, he's just trying to come through with that raw, classic hip-hop and kind of move away from that mainstream bullshit. At least that's how I took that line, and I thought it was pretty damn clever. But just like with a lot of indie stuff I review, the one thing holding this back is the mixing and mastering. It's not that it's awful, you can make out what's being said and it sounds pretty good, but you can also tell that it's not studio quality, and I think paying just to get that to sound perfect would really help this track out a lot and take it to the next level. Because hey man, everybody can always improve somewhere. So I give this one a 3 out of 5. I think it's a pretty dope track, especially if you like that classic hip-hop sound. So check it out for yourself, and then hit me up in the comment section to let me know what you think. Now you also want to make sure that you do that good YouTube and social media stuff, where you like my videos, you share them, you follow me on Twitter, you retweet the videos, and you especially subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.